All right, number two. So it says part one, write the balanced neutralization reaction between H2SO4, and then we want to calculate. So let's do number two here. So I have H2SO4 plus KOH. And then I want the balanced neutralization reaction. The hint here is the neutralization. So neutralization reaction, we have a strong acid and strong base. It's going to give us water, so H2O. And it's going to give us a salt here. In this case, the salt here is simply just the metal, which is K, with the anion here, which is sulfate. So we have K uh, with KSO4. And if we look at the periodic table here, potassium is a 2, is uh, has a charge of one plus here so it's gonna be k2so4 so this here is potassium sulfate is going to be our um our salt here and what we can do now is we can balance this chemical equation right so we have um two we want to balance everything that's not hydrogen and oxygen first so potassium is k i have one here i have two here so we have to put a two here i have one sulfate one sulfate which is good and then finally, I have um, I have one I have two hydrogens here, and then I'm more, I have four hydrogens here, so I'm gonna have to put a two here as well. So this is two oxygens, and now I have two oxygens. So this here is now balanced. So this is this is the balanced neutralization reaction between sulfuric acid and potassium uh, hydroxide. And then part two is asking us uh, if I have 0 0.500 liters of a 0 0.30 molar sulfate mixed with 0 0.50 liters of a six, 0 0.26 molar of hydro, uh, of mere molar of potassium hydroxide, what is the concentration of sulfuric acid remaining after the neutralization? So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to use, uh, I'm going to have to add up my total volumes, right? So as you can see here, um, I can, I have, what well, I can do first, I can solve the moles, right? Because I have high, uh, sulfuric acid and I have uh, potassium hydroxide here. So in this case here, I have C, V, and N. So I know that C equals N over V. So I have uh, sulfuric acid is 0 0.430 molars. And I have 0 0.550 liters of that. So I can solve for my moles. Right? I can just simply multiply um, my concentration and my volume here. So n here equals c times v. So I have here 0 0.430 times 0 0.550. It's going to give me a solution of so 0 0.2365 moles. And then I'm going to do this another color. I have potassium hydroxide, right? So I have um, 0 0.260 moles of potassium hydroxide, and I also have 0.500 liters here. So you can solve for these moles as well. So I have 0 0.260 multiplied by 0 0.5. It's going to give me a value of 0 0.13. And then what I can do now is I can I have to look at the multiple ratio here. And I see that this is a 2 here. So I'm going to have to divide actually um, divide this number by 2 to make it a multiple ratio. So I'll have both uh, ratios of 1. So this is 0 0.065 um, moles here. So this is here is going to be the limiting reagent for this compound. So this here is the limiting reagent. So what I can do is I can actually subtract the limiting reagent from our excess here. So this I can say here is limiting. This here is going to be our excess. So what we're going to do now is we can actually subtract these moles, right? So we can say that in our reaction, we're going to use 0 0.065, and it's asking us what concentration of sulfuric acid remains after neutralization. So I'm going to subtract the moles of sulfuric acid by the moles of our um, potassium hydroxide here. So I have 0 0.2365 minus 0 0.065, which is going to give us a value of an excess, will give us a value of 0 0.1715 moles. And then what I can do is simply I can actually calculate the concentration of sulfuric acid after neutralization. So I can just divide simply um, by the volume, right? Because I know that C equals N over V. So C here is 0 0.1715 moles divided by, now this is the total volume of our solution, right? Because we're mixing um, this uh, volume by this volume here. So let me add those up. So I have 0 0.550 plus 0 0.5 liters. And this will give us our answer here. 
So 0 0.1715 divided by 0 0.55 plus 0 0.5. This will give us a value of 0 0.163 molarity here. And this is the concentration of sulfuric acid after our reaction here. So the solution is correct. 0 0.1633 is our solution here. And we have the, con the balanced chemical equation is H2SO4 and 2KOH and 2H2O and K2SO4. So the solution here is correct.